Um, but meanwhile, while I'm waiting for you guys to talk to me, let's hear from Dr. Teo. Hi, Dr. Teo. Um, what happens when our skin is constantly exposed to the sun? Thanks, Jia En. Well, that's a very good question. So our skin is naturally imbued with melanin, which gives us pigment. Now, that actually is a good thing because it protects us from ultraviolet radiation. So whenever we're out in the sun, our melanin is activated. So we have a process known as immediate tanning and we have delayed tanning, which is when you notice that your natural skin tone darkens after ultraviolet exposure. Now, the reason why dark spots form, uh, especially when you grow older, uh, specifically after the age of 25, is because of the process of biological aging and also photoaging, which means that the ultraviolet rays from the sun actually activates the melanocytes in a way that your natural body cannot um, you know, cope with the uh, processes that help to keep our skin tone even. So this is when the dark spots start to form. So um, you mentioned that melanin is naturally imbued in us and if it protects us, why does it then cause dark spots? Well, you know, when we were young, we had the same amount of sun exposure living in tropical Singapore. But you notice that dark spots actually only form in older people. And in fact, uh, from the time you're in your 20s to your 30s, 40s and 50s and beyond, you will find a proportionate increase in the appearance of these dark spots um, because of photo aging. So it's really a manifestation of the body's inability to reverse this excess production of pigment, which occurs as a result of ultraviolet exposure. So if you are uh, you know, exposed excessively uh, in the period of time, you know, before you develop dark spots, there um, very often are no symptoms. So this is what we call cumulative sun exposure. And this is why we advocate sun protection for children because the uh, dark spots uh, you know, really manifest many years later.